So for this problem, to find the solutions of the system of nonlinear equations using the substitution method, so from this given, so first, we need to isolate one variable and always choose the variable that no exponent and no numerical coefficient. So since from this given, y is the variable that no exponent and no numerical coefficient. So therefore, we can isolate y. And since y is negative, to make this positive, so transpose to the other side. So this becomes 2x minus 3 equals positive y. Then we need to substitute the value of this y to this y. So this first equation becomes since y is equal to 2x minus 3, so we need to replace this y by this 2x minus 3. Then to simplify, so we need to expand the square of a binomial so using this method, the SMS or S, the square of the first term, so the square of 2x, this is 4x squared, then M, so multiplication, so multiply these three numbers, so we have 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6, times 2x, so we have negative 12x, then the last s, the square of the last term, so the square of 3, that's 9. Then bring down this negative 5x and negative 21 equals 0. Then combine like terms, so this x squared plus 4x squared, or 1 plus 4, so this is 5x squared. Then for this negative 12x and negative 5x, so since the same negative, so you add, this is negative 17x. And for this positive 9, negative 21, so this is negative 12 equals 0. This time, for this quadratic equation, so we can use quadratic factoring. And observe that there is number on the first term, so we can use this method in factoring or in solving for x. So we just need to multiply this number to the last term. So we have 5 times negative 12. This is negative 60. Then we need to find the factors for this negative 60. That when we add, the result is negative 17. So since this one is negative, so one of the factor is negative and one is positive. Since the middle term is negative, so therefore the bigger number must be negative. So we have negative 60 times 1 or negative 30 times 2, that's negative 60. Then we have negative 15 times 4. Or we have negative 20 times 3, that's negative 60. But observe that when we add this negative 20 plus 3, this is negative 17. And that's the middle term, so therefore the factors for negative 60 is negative 20 and positive 3. So to write now the factors, so first, this 5x squared, so we just need to put 5x to both sides of the factor. So we have 5x and 5x, then this negative 20 and positive 3 equals 0. Then from this, we can solve now for x. 
So just equate these two factors to 0, then to solve for x. So this becomes 5x equals positive 20. And divide both sides by 5. So therefore, x is equal to 4. Then for the other side, so this is 5x equals negative 3. Then divide by 5, both sides. So x equals negative 3 over 5. So these are the two values for x. Then this time, we can solve for y from this equation so y equals 2x minus 3 then for x equals positive 4 so this becomes 2 times 4 then this 2 times 4 that's 8 minus 3 so therefore y is equal to positive 5 for x equals positive 4 then for x equals negative 3 over 5. So from this equation, so we have y equals 2 and x is negative 3 over 5. Then to simplify, so just multiply this 2 to this numerator. So we have 2 times 3. So this is negative 6 over 5, then minus 3. Then we can use now the butterfly method to simplify this equation. So this is over 1, then multiply. So negative 6 times 1, that's negative 6. And 5 times negative 3, that's negative 15, then over. 5 times 1, that's 5. So therefore, y equals... So this negative 6 and negative 15, so the same negative you add, that's negative 21 over 5. So y is negative 21 over 5 for x equals negative 3 over 5. So therefore, these solution sets are, so we have 4 and 5, so x is 4, y is 5. And negative 3 over 5, negative 21 over 5.